Hello, testing, one, two, three, hello, testing, one, two, three. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Sorry, I was just testing the speakers. Speakers? Yes, yeah. So today we'll be um, looking at um, political awareness videos, obviously. And as I said, when I do have time, so I'll carry on um, explaining and we'll carry on moving with our political videos so there we go so today we'll be looking at capitalism so capitalism is an economic system based on private ownership of the means of production and their operation for profit so characteristics central to capitalism include private property capital accumulation, wage labor, voluntary exchange, a price system, blah, 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 and competitive markets. So you can see through here, if you need more information on it, you can click that link and um, know more about it. But just to let you know, if someone um, is more interested in capitalism, so here are some books on them as well. Uh, there. So and i'm sure view 40 more which means that there's loads of books on it so um there's books on other topics as well that's capitalism uh, these are the books on capitalism but obviously this is on feudalism globalization colonialism economy absolutism if someone really interested in um, political science or current affairs or want to know more they can so Without further ado, let's move forward. So what is capitalism in simple terms? So capitalism is an economic system in the government plays a secondary role. People and companies make most of the decisions and own most of the property. The means of production are largely and entirely privately owned by individual or companies. So Furthermore to that, what is a capitalist economy? So capitalism is an economic system in which capital goods are owned by private individual or businesses. Yeah, and you can see more on it. You know, everyone can have a read through this. And furthermore, what is a capitalist country? Capitalism is defined as an economic system in which a country's trade, industry and profits are controlled by private companies instead of by the people whose time and labour powers those companies. So when did capitalism start here? Uh, I'm trying to... I mean, I will try to cut the video short, but obviously you can have a read through this as well. I um, carry on making these videos because I learn myself as well. Because it has been years um, that I haven't learned myself because my graduation was in political science many, many years back in 2001, which is about 18 years back. So I'm still trying to revive my strengths of uh, political science and um, politics, obviously, if someone is interested in it. Uh, as a normal lay person, it's important for you, everyone to know these things as well. Obviously, if you really have a hobby or you really want to learn it. So apart from that, there is examples of capitalism, which include um, China, Vietnam, some other capitalists and grand monarchs. Um, the United States of America is mostly capitalistic. So I don't know about China or Vietnam here. They have said maybe in some aspects because I actually thought that in China there was communism. So you'll see that in later videos. So, so what are the five characteristics of capitalism? And is America a capitalist country? Um, I'm really sorry. I think someone is ringing. So I won't pick it up. Don't worry. So, um, so what is the importance of capitalism? What countries are capitalists? So 
or United States of America, as I um, as they explained it before. So now 2019, that's an interesting one. So we have Hong Kong, Singapore, New Zealand, Switzerland, Australia, Ireland, Estonia, United Kingdom. And let's check. That's capitalist countries in 2019. So I'm sure that the list will be quite never ending. Um, there we go. So we got Taiwan, we got Luxembourg, Georgia, blah, 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 Lithuania, Chile, Mauritius. There's so much involved in here. All these countries, some with some aspects or as a whole, some aspects of cap capitalism are inside these. So, if anyone wants to learn a bit more regarding capitalism, so I, I have actually broken it into little pieces because it's too much to learn. Capitalism is a sea in itself. It's a big phenomena. Then communism, then dictatorship. A lot of these political systems, uh, there's a lot to learn about them. So... Unless you want to specialize, for a normal lay person, it's better to know regarding them. But if you are specializing in, you know, capitalism or obviously you need more study then. So I will see you later in the next video. The videos do get a bit boring and confused, but from time to time, once you keep on learning them, then it's going to be all right. So... I'll see you in the next video, so um, like, dislike, and subscribe, yes, um, that'll be better, so bye.